so my bags are ready let me show you those are my bags over there and something interesting happened so as i was getting things out of this unit i also posted i wanted to sell this place and you know guess what i found somebody and someone who might be familiar you might have seen them on this channel or on the streets of youtube you might have seen them on this youtube street and they told me they'll be interested in buying this place from me and that's that's amazing that's such a relief because i was really wondering what am i gonna do since i don't have so much time and i need to get out of here very soon so we are going to meet the person. In fact, the person is coming here. They're going to be seeing the place. And i also give you a little tour of what we've done. A few moments later. Sounds like an army. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, people. Wagwan. <laughs> Jump towards their family. Wagwan. Jump towards Africa.com. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, family. So as you guys know, me and Tigers go, go way back from way back when I first came to Kenya. I went to a village and console her. The, you know what I mean? So we know Tigers a long time. And as I said, guys, I was just thinking about it and saying to myself that when you actually get a chance to go to somebody's village, I feel like that's where the friendship bond with you and somebody. So, you know, when, when you come to Kenya, you go to somebody's village. Respect that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Don't break that. <laughs> I like I like your, your neck chain. Oh yeah. Africa. Yeah. So on the website <laughs> jumptowardsafrica.com we're gonna have uh, a, a place that they call uh, the African gift shop. So you uh -huh. get everything in Africa. That even that thing that you see that Africa on your glass thing. Oh uh, yeah. African carvings. Yeah. So Africa is now a brand family. Oh. So um you know it's a pleasure meeting up back with Tigers family and as I know Jam Tours is here um hunting for investment for you. Um, so when, I, when you call me and say she's selling her Airbnb, I say, I'll, I'll take it off of your hand. I'll buy it from you, family. Awesome. So um, I just want you, let, want you to know that. So I'm looking for opportunity for you. All right. So if you want to contact Jam Tours, link me up on the WhatsApp. And if you want to get this place, I can arrange it for you to get it. Yeah, you know I mean? for so. sure, for sure. So this place was an Airbnb for long. I hosted some of you here. So right now, not everything is in place because, of course, you know, moving and all that. So we have a study desk here. You can see this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, we yeah. have a study desk. So if you're coming and you want a place, fast internet, fast Wi-Fi. So, yeah, we have some internet over there, your desk, you can work. This one will be out. I will remove that one, of course. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you have a place to sit. You have your Wi-Fi. You have a very, very comfortable bed. And you have a nice view with a big window. You have your shoe rack here as well. So when I move this, you'll be able to give them a tour once you customize it. Well, yeah, I mean, once, yeah, once I customize it, family, I'll actually give you a tour. And also, I'm going to fix up something in here. I yeah, because I started um, selling some start, things, yeah, so that's, that's how we don't have a TV, we don't have a microwave, so... so. Yeah, fam, so if you see this as a good opportunity, family, as I said, it's just uh, two minutes away from jump doors. So if you guys coming into Kenya and you look for a place to stay and you want somebody to show you around, because, you know, jump doors, I'm here, I go out every day, so if you want to come with me, I, I just, it's, this is a place I can just pick you and we go. So you we're switching mean? places. We're switching places. <laughs> <laughs> I'm <laughs> leaving while you... You, yeah. know, you know, like I said, yeah. in this world, mm -hmm. um, you can be successful here, right? Mm -hmm. Someone else would go to your country and mm -hmm. they'll be successful. They'll see opportunities mm -hmm. that you never saw when you were in Jamaica. So true. That's so true. Because yeah. I'm, I'm a Jamaican, I'm here, and I'm encouraged any entrepreneur in Jamaica, if you thinking about coming to Africa, come now. Now is the best time to come, family. You know, what, there's so much things you can do. The ideas you have in Jamaica, or even what you're doing now in Jamaica, you can bring it here in Kenya and make money from it, family. Yeah, so, or you'll come and yeah, notice something you and missing. Something and, like yeah. You have so much things to notice, family. And I tell you guys, linking up with Jam Tours is, is just amazing if you come to Kenya because I actually build a network and as you know guys in the networking age the network is your network more people you know and stuff so I kind of like crack the code how to get settled in Kenya how to run a business and stuff family how to get things done quick and fast you know sure. what I mean I was downloading something today guys and I'm saying that um M M Pesa actually function better than Bitcoin and uh -huh. I was saying to myself that this M Pesa thing I think it's a knockoff of Bitcoin. Like I think it's like M Pesa first and Bitcoin second. You know they thief the pattern and thing and go back and upgrade it and do things over it mm -hmm. and thing. But the M Pesa is very it's this can be a global payment system family. 
Of course, yeah. of course. <laughs> so we're gonna be having a conversation. We're gonna talk more about that. So I just wanted to give you a glimpse. You have your kitchen. We have some utensils. Like it's fully. I don't know by how soon are you gonna get it ready. Well, it's ready right now. So if somebody yeah. coming in right now, we can fix it up for you and stuff. Yeah, get that TV, uh, get microwave, TV and, and stuff. some and few I said, things. Guys, when you come to Kenya, this is a cheap place if you want to just pay monthly rent. As I said, jump yeah. towards this year. I'm looking out for you. I'm not really looking to actually make no money from you. And you yeah. pick them from the airport as well. And yeah, so, you know what I mean? So if you see this as a good opportunity, family, you can actually get a, you know, a studio, a nice studio apartment like this. And, you know, so and when you come, you know, they spend a lot of money in accommodation. You want to just see if it, you like the place. Yeah, sure. So it's good to just go inexpensive and, and you know, and get the information you need. All right, all right, okay. Also, you also have a wardrobe over there. But so now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you the outside. This place is very comfortable. And like I was telling Jam to us, this place, of all the places that have stayed, five star hotels and all that, even when it comes to accommodation, this has the best bed. Like, this is a very comfortable bed. If you're looking for a place that you will sleep comfortably this is the place to be like that's dr mattress if you know you know so it's very great very great quality so i'm going to show him the outside and yeah we'll talk more there let's go let's go guys let's go the past can hurt but you either run from it or learn from it <laughs> let's go well so this is the rooftop swimming area so if you want to do some swimming you can do it here on the sides they put these rough tiles because of course because of the presence of water they don't want you to slide and break your head or burst your head this area is generally so beautiful and if you wake up early in the morning you can see mount kilimambogo you can see it from the rooftop area when the sky is so clear and early in the morning before the clouds cover it and on the other side you can also see ngong hill oh, yeah this is one of the places so they have today's not as active yeah so there's somebody they do like fast food and whatever here there's that one there's even restaurants on the ground floor yeah and that side this is the rooftop yeah, chilling family. spot. Yeah, fam. This is the rooftop. Nice. You know, the guys are playing pool inside there. And as you can see, guys, it's that nice place. Serene, as you can see. It's like in a forest, fam. It's green around. Yeah. Yep. And there's a, there's a bar in there. I don't want to record people. <laughs> because some people may not want to be recorded. So there's a bar there. Is this one that closes? No. It's not. That one grows on the ground. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, family. So, I don't know what I'm going to for you. So, if you see this as an opportunity, family, you want to get on this, put it up on Airbnb, talk to Jam Tours. We can arrange for you to get this um, for yourself. If you want to just come and stay and live in it and pay a, you know, a cheap rent, you can actually get it if you want. So, I am here trying to find investment for you. So uh -huh. when you come to Kenya, you, you, you pay less, you live for cheap, you live for nothing. That's right. uh, what I'm doing for you. And that's a part of my consultant services that I offer to Kenya, safe and sound. Not, 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 uh, I am teaching from my experience, and as you know, I was scammed. And you know, I resolved the issue, and now I'm teaching it back to you, family, how not to get scammed in Kenya when you decide to relocate. So All go right. to the website, jamtoursafrica.com, and check out what I have there. If you're thinking of coming um, to Kenya. Okay. Goodness is the only investment that never fails. <laughs> Evening sunset in Nairobi, Kenya. Guess who's my driver? Jam Tours Africa. <laughs> <laughs> you are saying something interesting. You say life is so funny. Yeah, life is so funny. When I first came, it was Tigers driving us around. Uh -huh. And now I am here driving our around family. So I just want to drop this piece of gem for you guys that in life, you know what I mean? You know, when, you know, you know, just appreciate people and uh -huh. stuff like that. Because sometimes the same person is going to come and help you in a big way. You know, it's not all about money. It's all about what somebody can do for you that is priceless. That is what is important. And that's what we need to actually, you know what I mean, digest sometime. 
Okay, I see you've not left. Where's the Kenyan flag? You need to add the Kenyan flag. Yeah, I see I, we I, have a Jamaican I'll it, flag. I'll put it on the other side. <laughs> yes, a Jamaican flag over there. A Kenyan one over this side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, it's quite interesting. Like, you know, I hope I was a good chauffeur those oh, yes. days. Oh, yes, you were. <laughs> now it's your turn to drive me yeah, around yeah. in my life. It's quite interesting. Yeah, fam. Yeah. Yeah guys, so we are in Nairobi and you guys, if you come into Kenya and you want to like, as I was saying to these guys that, you know, after going through the experience of me, going through the experience and going through the levels of stuff, I'm kind of like street, a little bit street smart about Nairobi. I mean, from my investor, from an entrepreneurial um, side family. Yeah. And that's the reason why when somebody come to invest in Kenya, we try to actually, um, we jump towards Africa. Uh -huh. try to consider them their first time in Africa not knowing nothing and you know you know people can be actually lied to with information and stuff yeah so jam tours have an airport personalized pickup service oh you do that yeah and then what you I do, do airport pickup yeah when I drop you oh. at the, when I drop you at the um when I drop you at the when I pick you and drop you at the hotel the next morning I'll come yeah for coffee or whatever we meet up yeah and I will actually show you give you some consultation about all the questions you want to answer about Kenya, the permit, anything you want, your bank account, anything you want, your carry pin, anything Based you want. Based on experience. Based on experience. <laughs> I'm here getting my own. I'm, I have my bank account. Everything that I'm doing, Yeah. even if somebody want to come and know how to get married, the type of documents you need, and all of these things, I have to do these things. I have to be sending back and forth documents uh -huh. and so forth in Jamaica <laughs> to get this thing. You know what I mean? So all of these things, family, uh -huh. you need to know when you come into Africa your intention because a lot of people come and they want to reset them life they want to restart they want to start their family and stuff so you know something you come and you just, just want to get going like oh I come and just want to get going you want to come prepare so if you're doing that then link up with Jam Tours I do consultation for free over WhatsApp you can just WhatsApp me and I'll just answer your question all and right then, yeah yeah all right so today he's taking me for a treat we're going to be trying Jamaican food in Kenya. I don't know if I should try jerk chicken or oxtail. Uh, what I'm going to order for is a platter. A platter. I want to give her a platter family. At Jamrock restaurant, we have two platter. We have a, a platter for like 3,000 that can serve for like 10 people. And you get uh -huh. to try everything. We have one for 2,000 that you can actually uh, get for like 2,000. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, so you get that one for 2,000 and for like four to five people can eat from that family. And then around the US Embassy, if you're watching this and you're near that side, Gigiri, mm -hmm. we have a Jamaican jerk pan around there. You can actually go and get your nice, fresh Jamaican jerk. Is it chicken. a Jamaican doing it? Ah, uh, well, we train the guy to do it the Jamaican oh. way. But it's not so important about oh. the Jamaican it's how the spice. Uh -huh. It's the spices that we marinate and that we use um, here that we get from Jamaica. We use to actually, you know, marinate of that jerk chicken oh. and give you that Jamaican flavor. I've forgotten taste. the name of the place where they get that's known for the best jerk flavors. Was it? Um, uh, Walker Zood? Yes, yes. Walker Zood, yeah. Yes, yeah, 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 yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. that place. Because yeah, yeah. I did drive around them, that's what I was told. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. we are around Westland, Nairobi right now. Yeah. Lovely evening. It's nice to connect with you again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, family. So now we can reason planning that out right now. Oh, just to let you know. The place is around Westland. So I was thinking that the place is in. Uh, I don't know, Kilimani or something. No, it was Lavington, you know, you know, we used to have a, a Jamaican restaurant in Lavington. That's what you know about. You oh, yeah, that's the, that's, <laughs> that, that's, like... a, that's a story family because as you guys know, it's just crazy guys. And that's another thing, you know what I mean? These people try to play us for a fool. Oh man. And even though they, they're still using the name I created and all of these things. Oh, so the they idea tried... And every, they tell the idea and everything and then... So they tried to kick you out of your restaurant. Well, it was like a partnership, partnership still, yeah. and that's the reason why I don't do no more partnership with nobody. I'll give you, I'll pay you a high salary, but uh -huh. I, want, I don't want to partner up with no one, you know what I mean? Because it's crazy. I really man. don't like, no, one thing I really don't like is people taking advantage of people, others, when they foreigners in the country. For instance, 
Uh, the other day I was with a friend. He's not really foreigner. Has been in Kenya for a while. He's Nigerian. So when you're going to make payment somewhere, the person, the girl, talks to me in Swahili, like you know, let's do this, let's do this. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, yeah, yeah. know that. All I'm the time. telling you, man, it's crazy, man. Even <laughs> in professional world, it's, it's been done. Yeah. And I've seen it happening to me, like blatant in front of my high, and they don't mm -hmm. care. They do and that I mean, all the time. Or when I'm with my friends, uh, foreigners, and they, the people discover it's foreigners, they want to overcharge them, or you know, they talk to me in Swahili. Let's let's make something. Let me let's make something. You know. <laughs> it's crazy, man. Yeah. Like, could you? <laughs> tell like sometimes i'm even hanging out with my friends and they would assume because they're foreigners they're the ones who are going to pay yeah so yeah, they yeah. will tell me yeah I, not knowing that i'm the one who's actually paying the yeah, bill yeah, yeah. so, <laughs> yeah, so yes. like let, let's overcharge him let's you know? over. oh, tell him to get you this tell him <laughs> to buy you this and <laughs> I, don't crazy, know, yeah. I don't know why people have that mindset but either way like that behavior or just trying to take advantage of people when they are like new to your country it's really terrible i mean someone like me who travels a lot mm -hmm. i've always been i don't know i can call it under the mercies mm -hmm. of foreigners yeah <laughs> like foreigners and strangers uh, yeah, yeah. i've met in different countries they've become family they've helped me i would feel terrible if like they took advantage of me you know yeah, yeah. yep yeah so, and that's the thing now you know i mean uh -huh. life is just a karma because when you do these things and then you travel and you go around the world oh the they come back to you oh yeah uh, full of course force. of yeah, course yeah, yeah, yeah. all right so guys, we're on Brookside. I don't know if you don't know where Jacob Damrak is. It's on Book Brookside family. And you probably know better than I do. <laughs> right, at this yeah. point, I've not been actively, continuously in Kenya for the past about three, four years. It's like I'm in, I'm out, yeah. travel back. So I'm sure you, one day you'll tired and come home and say, yes, it's time for Kenya now. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. But I don't know. But I wanna have like two homes, Kenya being one of them, mm -hmm. and uh, somewhere else. Somewhere else, okay. Yeah, somewhere else. Two or three homes, like places that I can yeah. comfortably live, have a home, buy a home, you know, like legally live, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I know sometimes so hard to, to get legal status in some places. Yeah. I know. As an actor, it's difficult, you know what I mean? Everybody want to, like, you know what I mean? Black ball. The African passport. <laughs> oh man, it's crazy. But uh, it's much easier for me now. After you've traveled for a while, mm -hmm. people treat you different when they see your travel experience yeah, yeah, and whatever. Yeah. Yeah. They kind of treat you different. But not all the time. Some would still treat you like yeah, yeah. <laughs> trash. Can you remember the last country you go and like, it was like something is off. It's like, I don't like the way I'm being treated. Transiting Panama. Transiting Panama. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm glad you tell me that because now that's the door to. So, if somebody want to come to actually Africa from Jamaica without a US visa, how they do it? Like, what's the best route you can you recommend? I think Jamaicans can transit Panama, but Kenyans can't. Oh, really? Yeah. So, when as a Jamaican, when you transit Panama, where you go next to come to Kenya? I think they work with some airlines through Europe, so you'll do Panama, then probably. But instead of is it Air France that, or KLM? Okay, instead of bring that all mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. um, last february yeah not last february this year in february yeah i was in kenya yeah so to get from the caribbean mm -hmm. i was in trinidad so got klm through amsterdam mm -hmm. then amsterdam to nairobi ah, okay, so okay. a mm -hmm. friend of mine who was in jamaica at that time she was visiting she realized klm the same klm from jamaica to amsterdam to to, I, I don't know if it's, it was KLM, it was more expensive. So she flew to Trinidad, spent one, two days in Trinidad, ah. and then she flew to Kenya. From from, K, from Trinidad to Kenya? I, no, from, she was in Jamaica. Oh, okay, okay. Is this a place? Yeah, this is a place. Uh -huh. This is called Brookside Family. Oh. Where you have the big bad Jamaican restaurant. It's a Sunday evening, and it seems like maybe the parking is not full. Yeah, that's, see, that's, that's, that's that's good. People are getting ready for work tomorrow, so they're yeah. mostly indoors. Oh yeah. Of course. That's if it was it Saturday, is. if it was Saturday, it would be different, but not in the Caribbean. Not in the Caribbean. Okay, no, people okay. still go out on Sunday evening. Yeah, in the Caribbean. Yeah, yeah. People like I know you'd have some party in Jamaica right now going on. Yeah. Like everybody's like, you know what I mean. 
So yeah. in short, the easiest route is Trinidad, mm -hmm. Amsterdam, Nairobi, KLM. Oh, so Trinidad. Oh, so I never, I never know Trinidad is a route. It was cheaper that way. Because my friend, she flew from Jamaica, she came to Trinidad, and then from Trinidad, she went to Amsterdam, Nairobi. I was also in Trinidad, so I checked from the Caribbean to Kenya, the cheapest was from Trinidad. Ah, all yeah. right, so I'm going to tell my, my, my uncle, because he's trying to come. Yeah. So it's from um, from Jamaica to Trinidad, Trinidad to Amsterdam, Amsterdam to actually yeah, Kenya. Yeah, from Trinidad, you just book uh, KLM. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, cool. I, I never know about that and these are the things like you know what I mean as I was saying to you guys that's the reason I want to have this YouTuber summit I want to invite like a thousand YouTubers who are trying to make it big even if you don't have a YouTube channel and you want to actually start one you can come I will teach you how to create a YouTube channel and you know what I mean it's like a class it's like you know what I mean even how to make money on the internet and stuff uh -huh. all of these things you know what I mean will be actually <coughs> you know what I mean covered in the summit family yeah yeah so we want to put it together I want to you know have like a six months for plan yeah. so we can get a youtuber from all over the world to come if we can get mr beast we try and get him oh yeah. <laughs> oh mr beast <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah let's go oh i've oh, yeah. not seen it yeah, yeah. i've not seen it bar is there. Yeah. all right i see it jam rock <laughs> That. Authentic Jamaican cuisine. Wagwan. What do you see? The tiger says she don't like dumpling. <laughs> I find it too heavy. I too find heavy. it's too heavy. Yeah. Okay. I find dumpling too heavy for my yeah, same liking. Same with my wife. She don't like dumpling. Mm -hmm. So when she decided to chew up, I don't know. Maybe it's the flour because you chew it up and the flour become that. It's whatever. it's made from. It depends on wheat flour. Wheat flour, but yeah. some well in Jamaica sometimes they make it with the white flour. So you know the white flour is very sticky and stuff. Oh. So you have to add cornmeal to it to make it like have that uh, ugali. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let me see what we have here. Oh, this is nice. This is nice soup here. That's what I was asking you. Does it have dumplings? Oh, yeah. <laughs> because so it's, like, it's like a little, you know, appetizer soup. Yeah. What me appetite for me. Mm, really nice. Nice vegan. Yeah, for kind yeah. of actually, you know, get you in the mood for some Jamaican food. Thank you. You like the soup? Mm hmm. I like it. Yeah. You know we have a wide community. When you travel, taste the chicken warm coming chopping on the board and stuff. That's what I do. I would Jamaica. want have to go and try that, that in Jamaica. Yeah, of course. Like Even on the street, on the, on the street road, side, they say yeah. fresh like that. Yeah. Family. So maybe one of these days. Tomorrow is when. Uh, Cause we normally, uh, like from Wednesday Thursday, that bonfire. Maybe uh, Thursday's bonfire. Where? At the gig area, behind um, US Embassy. So if you're available, you can come. You see, you know so many things I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm the local now. At, the, at this point, the you're a local. <laughs> no, I'll show you around Jamaica when I go there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, honestly, I want to actually travel the 14 parish of Jamaica. I never get a chance to do it. And that's mm. like something on my bucket list. When I go back to Jamaica, I'll maybe drive out Jamaica with the kids mm -hmm. and stop around and stuff like that. Yeah, so yeah that's something i say i want to do is to um, explore this, the 14 parishes the 14 it's going to be 15 now with portmore coming on board has it been officially included have they officially included portmore yeah well, they want to yeah i was told about that for yeah. now yeah. Mm, yeah i actually made a video passed by and was told these are these are gonna be the new officers mm -hmm. yeah, when I was what's your portmore. favorite parish in jamaica based on what you experience how many parish you experience so far um Westmoreland. You like Westmoreland? No, you asked how many parishes. Mm -hmm. So I'm counting Westmoreland. Yeah. Uh, Ocho Rios is in what parish? St. Anne. St. Anne. Maryland. Portland. Mm -hmm. uh, St. Catherine. St. Catherine, yeah. Mm -hmm. Kingston. Mm -hmm. Montego Bay. 
Okay, Montego Bay. Mm -hmm. That's in mm. St. James. Saint, oh, that's in St. James. And Negril yeah. is in West Milan, I think. Yeah. Have you been to Negril? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I love Negril. So you're saying that your favorite place in Jamaica would be Negril? What's your favorite place in Jamaica? Hmm, my favorite place in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. Okay, of the cities, I love Kingston more than Montego Bay. Montego Bay. Okay. Of the cities, mm -hmm. um, of the parishes, I actually enjoyed Negril. Negril. Okay. I love Negril. I love I, I love Ajurios and I also love That's Portland Saint and Saint Mar yeah. Maryland. I Saint Mary? Is it Saint, Saint Mary? Ma <laughs> Not Maryland. Is it Saint Mary as Maryland? There's not there's no parish near Maryland in Jamaica. St. Mary. St. Mary, yeah. Okay, nice. So you know those bars the St. Anne mm -hmm. and stuff, so yeah. But I think the one I had most fun was Negril. Negril, okay. That's where small land? Yeah, that's where yeah. small land, yeah, yeah, yeah. So what, what did you do in Negril like that you know I'll allow you to say that you yeah, have the most fun in Jamaica in Negril. Swimming was swimming a lot. Mm -hmm. I loved every day. Every evening was at Rick's Cafe. Every oh, Rick's Cafe. Evening. <laughs> <laughs> every evening. Yeah, Rick's Cafe yeah. family. It's a vibe. Mm -hmm. yeah. Especially at summertime and stuff. What about the Margarita, the Margarita Ville? They still have it in Montego Bay? It, it got destroyed by water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When yeah. I was there, it was yeah. That used to be a hot spot. But the one in Jamaica and uh, what you race. Uh, yeah, we had a chance to so yeah. exp experience it. Yeah, because I was nice. around the seven miles and then I also mm. went and stayed close to mm. the Red So have you actually close, but uh, party at Margarita Bay? Like, no, I've partied at places I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> because yeah. I, I was going with my friends and some of the places I really can't remember the names. Oh, yeah, yeah. Or they would just, we drive, we go to a place, we did go to some exciting, interesting place mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> in Montego Bay. I went to Uptown Monday. They call it Uptown Monday. Yeah, Uptown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uptown. I experienced that one in Kingston. How, as well. how do you like it? Like, it's crazy, right? <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 it's wild. And it's on what Monday. Can I, what can I remember? About what? Uptown Monday. Just people dancing. Like, you know, the Jamaican way. <laughs> so was there anything that stand out? Like, you know, just that stand out when I go went to that party? Your party start okay. What I remember, your party start late, so it just yeah. starts social, social, social. Yeah. Like not so many people, but when it gets like three, that's when like now. Oh party. really? Wow. But you know that's kind of the opposite of here. In Kenya. Yeah, because you can have a party on a Monday. In Kenya, in Kenya. by Monday. three, <laughs> and also by three, if people have gone out. Most people by three they start going back. Yeah, yeah. yeah but yeah. there, like the party now starts at three. So if you go like ten, sometimes you're just too early. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. for Kenyans, the Caribbean brunch is gonna be on the twenty seventh of December. It's gonna be over there in Karen. The last time it was Tigonia, you gotta see that on my channel. Oh, I saw um, a video on your channel, yeah, the yeah, Caribbean yeah. branch. Caribbean branch, yeah. yeah. That's something that if you're in Kenya, you don't mm -hmm. want to miss. You know what I mean? So if you wanna get early bird tickets, we start selling them from next week. Uh-huh. Um, so early bird tickets will be out next week. So link up with Jam Tools, hit him up on that WhatsApp mm -hmm. and get your Caribbean branch ticket. It's gonna be Caribbean brunch with the Jamaican lunch. Mm. <laughs> That's lovely. I saw it and I saw lots of people had interest in it. Yeah, yeah, a lot of people. Yeah, 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 yeah. Even on your channel, it did work quite well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Why Why do you think so? And that's the thing with YouTube now. I just I look at value in YouTube. Mm -hmm. I don't really, you know what I mean, do videos for views, but um, it's more about the information and I'm projecting well, yeah, the value. That's what so, I always do as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, you know, you can eat somebody with about, you know, 10 billion subscribers because, you know what I mean, what I'm doing, I'm actually adding value as most people, uh, the percentage of people who like these things is very small. So you expect to have a small audience, but uh -huh. they support you the most. That must be eaten with the hand. <laughs> yeah, because normally when you order food, you don't really wash your hands. But I'm just saying that me, why you still have to wash your hands? That uh, eat the platter with your hand, family. So it's about to come. And Tigress is here. I'm so hungry. She'll be trying Jamaican food. I'm just so hungry. For the first time in Kenya. In Kenya. Yeah. Actually, I've never taken Jamaican <laughs> food in Kenya. Kenya, yeah. yeah. Well, that's, a, that's a milestone. Thank you. Then it 
Push forward. Is the food here? Is the food ready? It's ready in a few. In a few. In a few. Let me see my camera. Yeah, family. So it's here. Finally! Finally! Oh my Woo. goodness, it's a lot! <laughs> Guys! <laughs> Look at it, family! Oh my goodness! You said it was a lot? I didn't know it was this much! Wow, and this is like... This is like a 2,000, you know me? Yeah, it's 2,000. 2,000 for this family. Only. This is jack chicken. Yeah. Fries. Oxtail. Oxtail, my favorite. Mm -hmm. Curry goat. Yeah. In Kenya, you call it got curry. Got curry. Yeah. <laughs> um, rice and peas mm -hmm. and plantain. plantain. Nice. Fries. And fries, of course. Yeah, awesome. See the sauce I come here. Oh. Sauce for the meat. What sauce? So the sauce, family. Tomato, tomato, tomato sauce. And the gravy. And, and gravy. gravy. Oh my goodness. I can't. I'm so hungry. <laughs> I'm so hungry. So we train Jamaican food in Kenya for the first time. Ah, ah, I need to show. I need to show. I need to show. I need to make a small one for my Facebook. <laughs> oh, this is less than twenty dollars. Oh yeah, two thousand. That's for fifteen. Wow. Fifteen, uh, 15 about US. Fifteen US dollars. Wow, can you get yeah. this for fifteen US family? <laughs> Trust me. And it's real authentic Jamaican food that cooked by a Jamaican chef. Okay. Yeah, so All right. Let's dig in and let's taste this. You know yeah. what I mean? I never come here to eat, but because Tigress gets so much, I'm gonna eat a little. You're gonna eat a little. <laughs> I don't know where to start. <laughs> So let's start from what you haven't tried. Um, I've, I've tried everything, everything, but let me start with plantain because it's easy. It's easy. Okay. Let's start with plantain. Let's start together. Mm. <laughs> really good. So can you compare it to the one that you're adding to me? My left the same. Yeah. Did you realize that plantain is not a common thing in our meals in Kenya? Yeah, 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 yeah. And you know, since, since I came, because even in Jamaica, I'm, I never really eat a lot of plantain. But when I came, went to Ghana, it's a lot in Ghana. And I feel like that's why, you know what I mean, I kind of adapt it. But in Jamaica, we don't eat plantain a lot. You notice that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nigeria and Ghana. Yeah. Indians and Nigerians. Yeah. Their food has more similarities to the Caribbean yeah. than East African food. True or false? Yeah, hey, that's true. You know, for me, I'm eating a little bit of everything. Yeah. So, <laughs> so Anna, this is jack chicken, right? Yeah. yeah. And this is jerk wings, eh? Jerk wings, what, okay. What's the difference? <laughs> it's all jack. Yeah. The Jamaican, we have the Jamaican sauce. Mmm. It's really good. Yeah. Real good. You hear that family? So when you come in to pull up a Jamaica um, jam rock, mm -hmm. try some Jamaican food. You won't regret it because as you know, Kenyan food is very bland. So this is like a spice. So Jamaica has <laughs> come with the spice and flavor in Kenya and make things nice. So when you want to like change a taste bud, you don't want to have your ugali or your fish or whatever. Mm -hmm. Let's come up a jam wrap for some spicy Jamaican food. One thing I never knew or thought is I never thought our food was bland mm. until I traveled. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like I know and I think lots of Kenyans who've not tried every uh, like other foods from mm -hmm. other countries, they wouldn't think our food is bland. Oh, yeah. But you know what? I still love our bland food. <laughs> <laughs> I still love our bland Ken Kenyan food. Not not so much spices. Anyway. Because even me, I eat, I eat local. Mm -hmm. But every now and then I'll crave for some Jamaican food. I'll come and eat. Mm -hmm. But even me, I eat local family. I eat still Ogali and greens. Mm. This jack chicken is good. Can you read it to the one you had in Jamaica? Mm. Mm. Same. <laughs> Same. I just feel like I'm in Jamaica right now. Okay, you're here, family. So, it's the mm -hmm. same feeling and the same everything. They get their spices in Jamaica. Well, we call it one spice we don't get here, it's a pimento. Mm -hmm. Where everything else we get here in Kenya. So, if you guys been thinking to come and start up something, mm -hmm. 
You can come and create anything in Kenya family. You can have your own recipe, your own whatever you want to have, your own idea. Come and create it here. Everything is there. Yeah. Let, let me go for my favorite. Oxtail. Oxtail. Oh, I love how it's nice and soft and just falls off, off the, the bones. Mm, <laughs> that's love not, that. that's one thing they say when you have good oxtail, if it's not falling off, off the, the bone. bone. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really good. Oh really my goodness. Good. I want to eat everything. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, eat it all. Eat it all. No, like I wanna eat these, I wanna test these, I wanna test everything. <laughs> Little bit of everything. Yeah, everything has a unique taste. Yeah. Mm, that's lovely. Fries, of course, I know what fries taste like. Some more. Clean more like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So the curry goat now. Curry goat. Yeah. Goat curry. <laughs> that name just sounds strange. Goat curry. <laughs> I used to curry goat. Uh, so mm, better to me. I like it. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So now we we'll try that now with the, the gravy. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. All right. <laughs> dig in, tigers. Dig in. In some Jamaican food. You see, mm -hmm. curry goat sounds strange to me. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Goat curry sounds. Because yeah. it's goat that's curried. So yeah. goat curry. But see, because we Jamaican, we put the curry and the goat. That's why we call it curry goat. Because when you put it in the pot, you throw the curry at it. So I think in Jamaica, that's the reason why it's called curry goat. <laughs> we always in order of formation of sentences. Well, well in Jamaica, the the, 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 pro, the noun comes first before the. Is it called the adjective? Mm -hmm. Like so, it's the goat mm -hmm. and curry. Yeah. So it's curried. So goat curry. <laughs> well, in Jamaica, as you know, in Jamaica we do things our way. We just say things that look the same. So if you, if we see something out there like. A guy is tall. In Jamaica, we'll call him tall man. Yeah, so it's just like that. We just eat, eat. I can't finish it all. Okay. <laughs> I love so, it, but so, I can't so, finish. So, so my, my favorite thing on this is normally the curry goat family. The only country that calls it in the Caribbean that calls it curry goat. Yeah. Goat curry is Guyana. Okay, okay. Guyana calls it like we call it. Okay. So have you have you been to yeah yeah, yeah I've been to Grenada. I was but burial happened. Okay. Oh, so this gravy is for so for what? For rice. Oh, so you okay then? Put it. And then you also to just put it like this. You must try Jamaican food at least once in your lifetime. Yeah yeah. <laughs> You'll get so, hooked. So that's the um. Oxtail gravy on the rice. Oh, oxtail gravy. Oh, yeah, so nice. Tasty. So this is how it looks, family. The gravy and it has on the rice. Beans. Yeah, it has beans and stuff. Yeah, broad beans. Ah. Oh. This is what it looks like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, family. So mm. jam tours and tigers here. We're having some Jamaican food. Little Jamaica in Kenya. Yeah. So all the Kenyans, pull if up. Yeah, if you've never been to Jamaica and you've been having it in your mind and you want to experience just a little bit of Jamaica, yeah, this is the place to be. Yeah, Jam Rock Restaurant, family. Mm -hmm. We're in Brookside, BW Business Park. Mm -hmm. um, you know what I mean? You know, we have a lot of events and stuff and mm -hmm. activities. Um, buy one, get one free, happy hour, all of these things. Mm -hmm. Just come check out the spot, family. You'll, you'll love it. And if you want to meet Jamaicans, or you want to connect with some Jamaicans, you know, always come here. If you want to see jump tours, you'll see me here most of the time. Um, mm -hmm. You know, or I'll be at the jerk jerk pan on here in Gigeri family. So yeah. You're talking. I'm eating. Yeah. <laughs> when you finish talking, you find the food is done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, family. Let's enjoy. <laughs> Out of 10, what would you rate the food out of 10? Out of 10, it's 10 out of 10. Minus nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, family. So, as I said before, you want to get something flavorful and nice on your taste bud. Mm. rock is a spot. Just look at how the oxtail is falling off the bone. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Just falling off. Yeah. So nice. Yeah, family. So, 
let's enjoy. We'll see you after we're done. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were going to finish it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, we didn't. I was so hungry, but we still have some left. We have oxtail. Yeah, yeah. Actually, we have a little bit of everything. A little left. bit of everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'll carry it. So I'll take it can, home. Can for her mom. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, no, yeah, she's not. She's the... I'm here alone. In the... yeah, 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 my mom yeah. doesn't stay here. Yeah, family. Yeah. So as you can see, it was a whole lot, and she had to carry home. So yeah, it was a come, lot. Yeah, I got carry home too. I think this can feed like four people. Four people, yeah, yeah. yeah I think it can comfortably yeah, feed four, four, feed four, four people. people. Yeah, yeah. Four five. Four five, yeah, yeah. 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 So, thank you so much. You're welcome, Tigress. You the know, it's always, you know, what I mean, you know, what you did for me is like uh, priceless. I can't pay you. So each time you come to Africa, I will meet up in Jamaica. I'm sure we'll meet up in Jamaica <laughs> one day. Yes, yes, so, of course. That's another treat for you in Jamaica. So we we'll yeah. see you. You stay here. Yeah, I go stay there. <laughs> and then I'll come and meet you over there in Jamaica, sometime you, in the future. Yes. You do the. You. I'll, how do? You'll. You'll take care of me here. I'll take care of you there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sure you're gonna know more about Jamaica than me when I when I go back. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> of course. All right, family, I hope you enjoyed this video. As I said, go like, go share. Um, jump towards Africa if you're thinking about coming to Kenya and you want to settle. And you know, you know, settling in Kenya is not easy. Um, and most people, you know, if they don't have like a support system and somebody to guide you, you might end up going back to your country. Because I, I met so many people who say they was just about to go back and they met Jam Torch. Oh. After that, you know what I mean? Yeah. Them, them actually, um, you know, actually purchase properties and stuff here and things like that so it's very important for you to have somebody to guide you you save money and you save time all right so until next time <laughs> i want to ask you uh where do you like more in terms of what between kenya and jamaica i love kenya when africa is home man uh, marcus garvey said you'll never give up a, a continent for an island so that means that you know what i mean we all come from africa as uh African diaspora or whatever you want to call it. We all come from Africa. The Chinese, the Chinese man can re resonate with China. The Indian man resonate with India. The white man resonate with Europe and America. And then the African resonate with Africa. All right. And as you, once you have this skin tone, this melanated skin tone, you have to resonate with Africa. Now, when nobody wants a lot of Amer African Americans who say, oh, I've never been there, I've never been to Africa, even if there was Africans in America before slavery is Africa they come from. <laughs> so it's great. You, you can't go around that family. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Because they be... used to say mm. yeah, yeah, they, they used, used to, to say the current the current that. alone take yeah, you. We don't even need you. nothing to navigation yeah. to reach the Americas family. Yeah. So it's crazy man. So I just want people to understand that and know that that you know you should be willing to claim that the, um, the oldest human remains actually found in Kenya. So I don't know where you want to be. <laughs> All right. All right. So I hope you enjoyed the food. That was a nice, nice, nice meal. I can't wait to try the other one. Yeah. <laughs> the jerk pan. The jerk pan. Yeah. Around at Gigi, you'll find a fresh, the cut Jamaican jerk. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll, maybe Thursday will come for bonfire, right? Yeah. And a Thursday exactly. family behind US Embassy, Gigi lifestyle, mm -hmm. bonfire. Alright, alright, see you there. Alright, guys, we out. One love, Jabless, Jamaica, I'm out. Alright. <laughs>